okay, people have requested that I show how I make my snow people with the salt shakers. I just get these um, at Dollar Tree. I am looking at thrift stores when they reopen. The gal that I saw at a um, craft fair had the more ornate, and that was really cute too. But anyway, just Dollar Tree, 50 cents, a, a snowman or snow lady or whatever. Usually a snow lady. And you will also need foam balls that you can get at any craft store. I happen to get these at Michael's. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Are you recording? I am. Yay! Okay. So this will be the head, obviously. This is like a hat. Isn't that, I mean, you can already see it taking shape. This goes on here. It's super, super easy. Okay, limitless what you can do. So then I got out, you'll need tooth, a toothpick for the, see, here we go, for the nose and something orange to color it with. I just grabbed a Sharpie that I had from Dollar Tree. I like to find some black bling that's different sizes. So I often have been using these Bow Bunny because see, they have the different sizes for the eyes and the face or the smile. Um, anyway, and I got out some, just some different red bling that I had in my stash. So, and then something for the scarf. So I have this, I'm thinking I have this and I think I'll probably use this. Is that blinding you? Sorry. Okay. So let's go. So first, oh, and then you need something to fill the salt shaker with. So I have this, these are in the floral section decorative filler. This was at um, Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I don't think I got it on. So I'm just going to put it over this coffee filter. So when I spill, it's not a big deal. And just fill with whatever you want. I have some of this. I thought I'd try these glitter flakes. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. I can't see what you're seeing. Um, Let's see, I have not used this yet, so let me puncture it. This always feels good. Well, those flakes are pretty big, so we'll see. Yeah, see. Screw that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, these are too big. I'm not going to use them. They're too big. They would, like, not look normal in there, so I'm not going to do that after I open the darn thing. Okay. And then I had some of this white moxie glitter. So I think I've used that in the past. Kind of pretty. So tomorrow is Father's Day. We actually celebrated my one, my oldest son that lives close by today, Anna's daddy. So that was fun. Unfortunately, my other son lives too far away. So I miss our big family gatherings. That's I love being with my kids, but it's kind of bittersweet because we're all used to do it together, but it is what it is, right? And now he has Eric over on the other side of the mountains has odd days off that are not the weekend, so it's really tough to organize getting together. I can go anytime this summer, but my Brian, of course, works. So see how I'm just kind of mixing it? He has weekends, regular weekends off, so whatever. Oi, I think I'll put a little of this in. I just went over and grabbed some glitter, so. Blue is pretty in this, too, like snow. That always makes for fun. Let me see. We're kind of in spring. So, yeah, we we I bought the burger patties with that are stuffed with cheese and bacon out of the butcher part section, and we had barbecued burgers, potato salad. I used to make potato salad and all that. I have gotten so lazy <laughs> now that I'm on my own. It's like, yeah, no, I just buy it. They seem happy either way. So we had a good dinner and I bought some eclairs and we had those. Emma was like, oh, these are really good. She's so funny. She wanted the dessert right away. And we're like, nope, you know, kids, of course they want dessert right away. Who doesn't? But we had to be firm. All right, so you can fill it. I don't always fill it all the way. 
but you know, fill it with whatever you want. Like I said, the light blue is cute and pretty in here. Gives it a Christmassy look, but we'll call this good for now because this is just instructional. You can do whatever you want in there, obviously. Oh, and you'll need a glue gun. Or a really good glue. One of the two. So I then take, let's get the glitters out of the way. I feel like I'm a toothpick. High tech thing here. And break it in half. Color it. Let's see. What am I gonna call it? Just use this scrap of paper. And then I just color that orange, obviously, for the nose. Oh, what does I color it? So yeah, the weather's been it's been really humid, but you know, pretty cool. It, the 70s my weather I love it give me a little overcast but nice I love this weather so it's my weather so now that school is out yay I am probably I got to start my masters again but I'm probably going to be spending more time at my trailer so that's exciting we can so then obviously you poke I have the pointed end out for this poke this puppy in there and kind of shove it in as make the nose whatever you want how length i'm telling you if kim from kimbo creations can do this anybody can do this because this is <laughs> really easy it's just having all the stuff okay and i got my glue gun heating up now you want to take oh god where did i put it Where's the lid? Oh, it's on there. Good God. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So I try to do as much of the decorating of the styrofoam ball before I glue it on. So I need to put the little eyeballs on. Where is the lid? Good grief. <sighs> okay, so embarrassing moment as I do. I went yesterday to my pharmacy, but I went into the store instead of the drive through So I guess, and this morning, and I didn't bring the pills in. So this morning I see my pill, empty pill bottle. I'm like, oh, I took my last one. I thought I better go get my pills. So I drive up and the gal goes, I can't find it. And she looks it up on the computer. She goes, it says it's already been picked up. And I go, oh my gosh. I picked it up yesterday and the pharmacist came over because he's helping her figure it out. So you just stick these on here and um, just push it in. I can't, it's been a while since I made, I don't think I glued those down. I can't remember. Anyway, and um, I said, oh my gosh, I have, I got it yesterday. And they were laughing. He goes, well, because of HEPA, we can't tell anybody your embarrassing story. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my God. Seriously. Every day blends into one. I can't remember Stilly do. It's weird. It's kind of scary. I kind of like the eyes a little close together. Kind of makes it look, I don't know, quaint, cartoony like. So just push on that and that should be good. Okay, and then I'm looking at this thinking, this looks like a smiley. So I think I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, baby. Yeah, so there you go. But of course you can use any gems. It doesn't have to be these. There's, everybody's got little black something or others in their stash, right? So there we go. There's his head or her or whatever. Okay. Now I am going to glue. So I kind of put it at an angle so it's back from her little face. Put some hot glue in there. Yes, I own the little pink things. Do I ever think to grab them? No. The little pink finger protectors. Jeez. I always think of it after I've already started. Okay. Plop that on her head, like I said, kind of at an angle. Hold it for a minute, or a few seconds. 
I was thinking this is metal. I could, or fake metal. I don't think it's real metal. Anyway, um, you know, do my, uh, what am I trying to say? Alcohol inks, but not today. Okay, so then there's my little jar. And I'm gonna put, oops, sorry guys, glue in this around the edges. Should probably do glass glue or E6000. Kind of reminds me of the Jack in the Box. Remember that? The antenna ball? <laughs> oh no, I brought that memory back. Okay. <clears throat> and you want to line this up with the, well, you know, not with the corner, but with the flat, one of the flat sides. Okay. So then it's just a matter of decorating her to look like she has a scarf on. And that's when this comes in handy, this whisper, any kind of yarn or just winding it around. Decorate her up. Give her a little, you could finger crochet this or whatever you want to do. And then tie that off. Maybe even make it a bow. See if I can do that without too much trouble. Cut this off here. And she's already so cute. These just make fun little gifts little snow people. Um, I've done them in purples, depending on, you know, the person, if I know their, what their color preference is. But the traditional is usually the best, most popular. Um, let's see, and then I have these I pulled out. Let's see what I'm gonna do, I don't know. I might put it on the hat. Perfect. See? See, see, see? Can you see that? <laughs> I'm like bent over. Okay. My, I need to get a better stand for up here. It kind of starts, the weight of the phone starts bending it over. I just think that's too cute. Look at that. Like she has a little fancy hat on. Cute! And then you can put hearts here, gems, whatever you want. But that is how I make my little snow people. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.